Hello. Sometimes our assumptions influence the way we read the Bible and we understand the Bible. For example, in the Gospel according to Luke chapter 18, Jesus uh, tells a parable of a Pharisee and a tax collector. And almost immediately we jump to the conclusion be before the story that the tax collector must be the good guy because the Pharisee uh, were bad. That's what we have been told. Uh, because uh, we have been told that the Pharisees are were always arguing with Jesus. Uh, they always tried to trap him and they were called hypocrites. Simple enough, we would say. Well, the reality was a little more complicated than this. And you see, in Jesus' time, the Pharisees were considered mostly good people. They were good religious men. They were men. Um, they were following to the best they can God's commandment. They gave generously to their religious institution, the, the temple. In fact, just, you know, withdraw the word Pharisee and you will have the perfect definition of what is considered today a good Christian. You know, faithful, giving money, following God. So, that's why we need to be careful when we come to this parable. So the Pharisee went to the temple to pray. All is good. But it was less a prayer than, well, less a prayer to God than a prayer to himself. Some sort of justification of his status. He says, God, I thank you that I'm not like one of those people. Thief, rogues, adulterer. He was saying, thank God I'm better than them. Well, once again, these words challenge us. Because this is this attitude is often how we Christians speak, how we behave. If you listen to people, we will say outside the church, what they will say about Christian. We're arrogant, self-sufficient, full of ourselves, holier than thou. And you know what? They are often right. How many times Christian have said, oh, if you don't come to church, if you don't come to my church, well, you're not going to be saved. And in fact, you're not a good person. Um, we have all the answers to your problems. We know which values are good and which are bad. We have the solution for everything. In short, we are superior. Thank God we're not like those, I don't know, those Muslim, those Jews, those atheists. Oh, my. The truth is that we don't. We don't. We, we don't know everything. We haven't figured it out. We make mistakes. I don't know about you. I make a lot of mistakes. And... The difference, maybe, is what we're invited is to try. Not to assume that because we're God, everything will fall on us easily. No, we're just asked to try. And sometimes we succeed. And we're proud of ourselves. And sometimes we make huge mistakes. And we're called to learn from them. And to remember that our faith does not makes us better. It just gives us a relationship with God. And when we believe that this relationship place us above others, that we are better than others, well, it is at those moments that we miss the mark. We go against 
what call what God calls us to do and be. This parable is it's not just an old story. It's a challenge to all of us. It's a reminder to be careful, not to think ourselves better, but to be more aware, maybe, of how we behave, maybe to be more humble, maybe to be more open to what others are giving us. In those situations, we can improve and we can get closer to the ideal of God's realm on earth. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I remain the Reverend Stefan Vermette, the lectionary man. And until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.